Hello, uh, we got a 12k plus versus 13k plus, which means I do not get Comey in this game. So I gotta play a little bit more aggressively than I normally would for it. Uh, we can't have all four fours. Approach? Nope, you're not gonna approach. We're doing this, huh? That's a little thin, so I am going to... I'm gonna approach this way. Pincer me already, huh? Blocking that way too. That's really interesting. All right. Uh, not that settled. I guess I will. Um, this side's more interesting. If I get a move there, and then it helps develop this, of course. That's low, low, low. But eh. What does he do? He's gonna back off low if I... If I back off high here, then he can pincer and do this sort of thing. But then I get a ton of influence come back and attack this. Uh, I am gonna do that though. And if you saw the low high invasions. This is white's strongest response here. Black should now wedge. He can go here, but that's kind of lukewarm. Um, <clears throat> well, that's interesting. Um, there is this cut thing, and then he'll come up, and then I'll connect and try to kill this group. Um, <clears throat> I also could do this. That lets him out. He might cut here. Uh, let's see, after that, this. Uh, that's no good. I could just do this, the stronger I get here, but um, I am going to hunt it here. Although the, the difference in this one versus the book is that this is a low stone instead of a high stone. Uh, we're crawling, okay. Um, is that big enough? No, not yet. I will, however, connect over here, which allows him to get that, but at least I can then do this one. This also does that, I suppose. Um, it helps separate these a little bit better, and then actually in my next move I can do something like this. Um, does seem a little slow, though. However, if he cuts uh, Atari... Fix... Well, hold on. If he cuts... I can Atari that way, and then... That doesn't quite work. <clears throat> um, fix like this. If you... I think I'm going to fix like this. Now he can butt, and then I can fix. He's going to jump. That's interesting. Um, if I wedge... He can continue going on and taking out my base. If I do this, he can wedge this way. Um, and then I can... Fix... I will block this way. Now he can wedge. No, he's fixing directly. Now he can push and cut, of course. Um, if I just fix... Now what happens if you push cut, cut, that's double Atari, he can break through, so I should keep him low, that's fine. Take your three points there. You are blocking the corner. That goes into a nice net ladder thing, so um, I am going to do this, setting up this invasion, which no longer works because now you jumped out. Um, it still has some potential, of course, but 
Um, uh, next, I guess, I will... What's bigger? There's this one, and then there's this one. This isn't so interesting. This one I can still build some stuff. I can take an extension. Um, and since you didn't take care of the Aji this dawn, this kind of threatens to use that. Now if you jump up, then I can pull back. Or you can do that, of course. Um, there's this move, and then you can jump, and I can actually... St Let's see, if you diagonal, then I can threaten to activate this stone against... I am going to uh, pincer you back. Diagonal, we can push up. Um, that's interesting. There's this move to that move. Then you fix. You can cut this way. <coughs> Excuse me. I can actually link up with this stone, right? And then there is this cut, which doesn't help me at all. I'm looking at this to that to pull back to do this. Um, in which case, then I can jump. He can try wedging. But wedging is not good then. Because then it just goes to this. Um, and then he goes there. Right. Wedge. Atari. Go down. Come here. And then he's down to one li or two liberties. Um, he can try going there. And anyways. Um, what else? What if he goes here? I can actually pull back then, right? And then he has to cover or something. I can actually cut and kill it. So I am going to do this. <clears throat> Another response of his could be to... Okay, that is what I wanted. Yep. Then you connect. Yep. Now, I either have the option to push out... Or I can jump. The problem with the jump, you can peep and then I have to connect. You can also wedge, in which case I can Atari this. He goes that way. Um, Atari, Atari... Let's see, and then there's this Atari, that Atari, and then that Atari, actually probably, uh, hmm. Okay, so he's going to do this. If I do this, simplest thing is just to connect. Uh, let's try something else though. This push, doom, cut, Atari, Atari, connects to this stone. Ooh, that would be interesting. And that's with this one. You can also push from this way or do this move, which case I will do this move. No, wait, I would connect at that point. Um, this is also kind of a peep at this. If I just wedge directly, what happens? Uh, if he wedges from that way, he fixes... Well, just from this way, he fixes this way. I do this, he does that. And then what? Then I'm cut. Um, so I'm either doing this one or I'm connecting directly. If I do this, there is this cut. But that Atari, extend up. This Atari. And if he extends that way, then I just connect up to this stone. He can do some other stuff I can threaten to link under, in which case he would block. <clears throat> so again, that's a move at this. Um, I can take a bamboo joint then. Uh, what else can I do? I can still do this. This actually prevents that cut as well. Um, yeah, because it goes to this, and then there's this. <clears throat> so it would be a tiger's mouth on the outside. Uh, if he pushes in this way, then he can push up this way. Um, or I can just solidly connect. This also works. This to that. Um, what's the problem with that? This? No. It's 
It's a very weird move. If he pushes in here, then there's this. He can poke at the tiger's mouth, in which case then I connect, I suppose. But then he's getting pretty short on liberties over here. <clears throat> I need to use this wall. Right now he has a pretty solid corner over here. This is still pretty wide open. I think my next move is going to be like this. Uh, what can he do? He can do this. I can pull back. And then he can threaten to attack this some more. So because he has a stone here, the, he can actually invade this right now. He can go... Um, mob, uh, hold on. This is the invasion. And then he can pretty much destroy all these points because of that. And so right now I've got a few here. He's got some stuff here. I might still try this invasion though. Uh, if I invade here, he can cap me and then I can't actually connect underneath. Um, if I go here and he blocks... Uh, does this work? This is move is this move. Because when I push through, then he can block, and then he's covered, so... Um, let's see, if I go down and he comes here... I come back... Oh no, wait. No, if I come down, he comes here, and then I connect. If I go up, that's where he pushes here. And then I block. He connects. I push. I cut. Let's see, if I go here, he pushes, block. Honey. Honey, poke, connect, Atari, connect, and then I can actually connect through, so oh. the idea is to get outside influence, cut this off, and utilize this. Or I can go under, take out the base. This stone helps this get out. I think this still works, though. So he blocks down there, and I go down. He comes here, I go there. I'm trying to remember how that goes. How do I block from this way? <clears throat> I'm going to go up. I, I don't really want to go down. I want to go up. This move, if he does the right move. Um, what else can he do, though? You can just cover me, I suppose. In which case, I would do that. He does this. That's Atari. So that's not good. He can let me connect, take out the base. I wonder what he's thinking about. And okay, now he's down to 6 minutes and 21 stones. This move, that's Atari. Capture. Uh, this move, that move, then I would have to connect. Um, uh, if I target that way, he can connect, then I can do this. And then that one looks so silly. And then I actually have a stone on the outside instead of this one in here. So if he does come here, I will target this way. And then if he connects, then I can connect. There is this move, and that's Atari up. And then there's a double Atari here. Um, actually, I might extend over... That uh, doesn't really do anything. Hmm. Three hundred seconds for twenty-one stones, and it turns yellow. I think it means less than 15 seconds a move for the next 20 moves. Oh, 
or is he running out the clock? Now, to be honest, I think I um, kind of regret not doing this move here. Um, cause he, I, I'm trying to remember if this was there before or not. Um, but I mean, it would give me a couple more points, and then he wouldn't have gotten this much. Um, as it stands, that group's alive. Pretty large corner, a few points here. Corner is mine. He might get a couple points here. This group is on the run. You can make one eye directly by doing this. You can also try to harass my corner some. If he uh, is on top. I think I just descend. Oh wait, no, if he is on top, I'll probably pull back. N um, even, But even with this stone right here, his invasion right here is still uh, pretty effective. Because, you know, I mean, the, the assumption is that I, I block from this way, and when I block from this way, then, um, how does black respond? I think he connects underneath, and then it just goes to the loop up and around to connect to it. So it keeps this on second line, and then he gets a, a wall here. Fifty seconds left. Yeah, so that's, uh, clock runner. Was he really that far behind? I know, I know, oh, this is kind of, I don't want to say it's useless, but I, I, I mean, I would definitely rather have this over this, but. Maybe you thought he was just that far behind? I mean, th this is not really that big yet, because of this invasion that I was just talking about. Plus, I'm already undercut on this side, because of this stone. I mean, I get to attack this stuff now, but... So, um, thank you so much for watching. I, I guess I won by time, but I guess, uh, you know, a win is still a win, so... Thank you so much for watching.